I'm sure he'll step up this quarter. No worries, thank you. Thanks very much to Chad Rogers. Both coaches have been uh, fantastic with their time this afternoon. And I'll hand back to you. And uh, at one stage, we might get to uh, Will Taylor with some updated three-quarter time scores because I tell you what, there's a few interesting games going on right around the Eastern Football League, including this one, not done with yet, as the Basin Trail by four goals and kick with the breeze in the final term of AFL game day. Thanks, Dyson. Ball back in the middle. Big quarter of footy coming up. Straight away. Up a gully with the tap, but it's Brown. Little hand pass back. And look at the pressure from Upper Gully. Been on from the start. Whiteman's little hand pass to Tool. Hand pass over the top. They're working their way. That probably didn't dispose of it properly. He's rising. This will be a big lift at the start of the final turn, but he's missed to the right hand side. So they extend their lead. 9 7 61. To the Basin 5 6 36. Basin are going to find a will, they find a way to win here uh, because they, they're right behind the eight ball and they need five straight kicks. So this is a real test, a real test for them on a big ground. Yeah, finals like arena. Oh, oh it's a big sack of a kick again. The Basin have done a lot today. Cripps controlled it well. Hand pass up to Lumbery's captain Mills. It's not going to work out. Houston kicked a beauty in this end in the second term. Kicks the oh. top of the square. <laughs> And that was the complete opposite to that kick, but it has worked out beautifully. And Murray has marked about 20 metres out directly in front, and he should extend this lead. Yeah, luck's a fortune there, I Make think. Make your but own luck, though, don't yeah, you? Yeah, that's true. Murray put himself in the right position, and uh, the ball came straight to him. And uh, he finds himself with a pretty elementary shot on goal here. So Murray kicked one already. And that lovely kick in that third term. Mm. Right on the 50, coming down. This is going to make it really tough for the Bears. He comes in and just oh, tried to just work it, massage it through, and he's missed and hit the post. Needed to kick uh, through it. Two, two probably wasted opportunities, mm. you say, at the start of this third term to the upper gully, Kings. It's going two minutes, 9 8 62 to the Basin, 5 6 36. No, Brown has had a good game for the Basin. Plays it to himself. Oh, oh he's, he's well, turned it get, over. I mozzed him there. He lays a tackle. That could have been a little bit too harsh as well. I said it was okay. He was lucky he didn't pay the penalty for that. That was stupidity at its best. Traka almost had a gift to him about 15 metres out from goal. Well, the two flyers came that time from the basin, so we'll give that knockdown to them. I says play on, trying to break the tackle there was Risley who got slung to the ground yeah, by Jaden Brown so. and the free kick has been paid. It was unnecessary, spot on Brash. You're not allowed to do that anymore. That was just totally unnecessary. That's that real dangerous one too. The whistle it had is. already been blown. Yeah. And it was just an opportunity to hurt. That's all it was for Brown. And his opposite number has a pretty straightforward shot and goal now. Can he make him pay? Yeah. So Timmy Risley... He's been a superstar player at this club for a number of years. The crowd will tell the story. He comes yep. in and has he done it? He's oh, pushed it no. to the left-hand side. I tell you what, that breeze takes the football. He kept it low and it looked like it was going straight. You can see it in the background. Great work from Dennis. And it's uh, on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. It's 9963 to 5636. The Basin to bring the ball kick. back in. Beautiful kick there by Batty. Links up well there with Kruger. And now the Bears are away. He ran his full measure and got dumped after he kicked it. So the umpire said yep, it'll be a free there. kick downfield. So it'll go to Keane. And really struggling to get amongst the goals. He's kicked one this afternoon. Drives the ball inside forward 50, but there's bears everywhere. Cardamone, he went after it. Silver got boot to ball, got it out of that danger zone, but it was just it was just thumped into no man's land. Kruger goes after it again. Keane got tackled by two bears and said it was umpire said it was a little bit too harsh. In fact, there's Goodman actually. He got the handball away. In the middle of the ground now. Well, there's some risky possessions happening here, but it's in the arms of Hard who drives it out wide to the culvert direction. Handball over the top. That was a well-weighted one, too. Backwards, forwards, which way they're going to go? The Houston, the kick goes inside, 450. Oh, Carroll around the oh body, boy. looking for Petrarca, and drifting across the front of the packet. Ryan Murray takes the mark, and he's only about 20 metres out. He played on and kicked the goal, but the umpire said, that was a little bit too cheeky. You can come back and have a proper shot. And, well, this will pretty much, if there's not already a couple of nails in or they're just sitting on the edge, this might be when they're just banged on in because it's a big margin and it's five minutes gone now in this final term. They have to kick this goal, BWS. They've 
had all the play in the opening five minutes and kicked four points. So they're really going to have to, they really need to uh, put this one through. Lovely little trap by Carroll there, just to hook it around the yep. body. It was class. Uh, yeah, all it class was. there. So Murray. Right to left, my friend. Kicked one goal this afternoon. We're right behind him here. Comes in from 20 metres out and he makes no mistake. That's the goal that they were after and that gets the fans off their feet. Goal to the Upper Ferntree Gully Football Club. Five minutes into the final term here on EFL Game Day. 10-9, 69, 33 point now lead over the Basin Football Club. 5-6, 36. Let's go around the grounds. Thanks to the local burger company, Will Taylor. Division 1, it's Vermont by 42 points over Knox. It's Norwood by 21 over Montrose. Noble Park are now 21-point leaders over North Ringwood. In Division 2, Croydon and Lean now one turn south by 34 points. Doncaster East by 32 over Mulgrave. Doncaster by 24 over East Belt. And Scoresby by 37 points over Bayswater. Oh, oh. The Basin out of the middle. Rice couldn't mark. And oh, Silver just threw it out. Tool, still play on, coming up at it well. Ma just kicks it high on that left shoe. Umpire, great made the mark, and a good mark there. Taken by Batty. Been serviceable in the ruck today for the base, and he's kicked though. The kicking's been pretty poor all day, the base, and Miss Kruger. And now's a chance for the Kings to go the other way. Through the middle, Godfrey's kick inside, 50. Over the back, Jones leads the race for the base, and just fell on the ball. It really was in no rush to get rid of it. Well done by Carroll there. Great yep. second and third efforts, Brash. Yeah, most definitely. And Petrarca was lurking there if the ball came out. It seemed very uh, urgent to get the ball out there. Division three around the grounds. It is Heathmont by 25 points over Churnside Park. It is Templestowe by 64 over Baronia. Ringwood by 35 over South Belgrave. And Mitcham by 110 over Sylvan. <laughs> wow. We have Sylvan gone since quarter time. Keep, go, keep going, Division 4. It is Dunbar by 17 points over Coldstream and Fentry Gully by 3 over Glen Waverley Horts. We still need to get Storm. Game over. Yes. And there's a goal here. Game over, just about. Laughlin comes in Loughlin. and he scooped on it at the stoppage and he swung around on the right boot and slammed it home. So, Upper Fentry Gully. Well, they're almost celebrating here. Um, a few words being had between the forwards and the backs, but it doesn't matter because the Bendigo Bank scoreboard tells the tale. 11 9, 75. The Kings, the Bears, 5 6, 36. Have we gone through them all thanks to the local burger company? Yeah, we certainly have. We just need to get some uh, scores out of Nutterwading, Surrey Park, and the Eastern Lions. Good luck with that, Will. The usual suspects. Ball back in the middle of the ground. Can the Basin barge their way through Brown? He's getting pretty feisty after that last encounter picked up by Batty, bangs it on his boot up towards the half forward line, ball bouncing favourably oh. there for Galley, that was good play got, the, got it back to Tapscott, up towards the wing position where Hickledon comes out and takes a good mark on the right boot got every bit of 50 metres, opened it up to kicking into the middle of the ground and Helbert. Colvert was um, held without the football so he wants to switch it out wide, that's okay the kick there, goes inside forward 50 Picked up by Hards, handball over the top. This is dangerous. Laughlin goes in again, trapped by Jones though, but he got dispossessed of the football, went after it oh, again, handball tackle. away. That was good play. He losing the football then was Lee. Jones came back in. Hards got the handball out wide. Here's Godfrey on the left. Which way is this one going to bounce? It's going all the way almost, but it was trapped on the last line of defence. Oxley switches the ball out wide down to Cripps. This is the last throw of the dice for the base, and they need to get a run on. Here's Cardamone, uses Brown over the top on the right boot. Up towards the half forward line now it goes. Oh, it went straight over the head there of Thompson. He probably could have gone a little bit harder at that. He'll get another chance to redeem himself here. Chasing after the football there. He might be able to pick it up. It Team. doesn't matter. They might get a pot shot on goal, but it went through for a behind. That Team. was good play to get it straight down the ground. But I tell you what, they need the big sticks, and the small sticks is what they found. Then 5 7 37, 11 9 75. Upper Ferntree Gully lead this one on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. And it's the small sticks they don't want BWS. Ball brought in by Tapscott, goes in short, mark taken by Galley. And we said Keane hasn't had a great day and they're the sort of moments that can just lift your side. Yeah. Especially you really as, should be kicking that. Especially as a forward, you can have a dirty day, but you get a couple of moments and it can change drastically. Galley goes long and no one in particular. Batty takes the mark for the <sighs> base. Another poor kick though. Gives it up. Looks like Cripps who just goes long to the top of the square, but no one home. Ooh. That's gonna be twenty-five. Oh, that's gotta be twenty-five. 
Yeah. Discipline. It's an overrated not. 25. Oh, 25. <laughs> <laughs> he just said, no, nah, really? go back and take your kick, and Silver does. He goes wide, and it's almost a turnover. Godfrey, little hand pass well over done. the top. Had a good. And here's Whiteman, he's away. Liked him today, a little mm. kick up the line, and he's Great done kick. well. Hickleton over the back, can play on and just drill the ball inside 50. Look for Petraka, oh. who couldn't mark. Oh. Ball spills to the back, opportunity for upper gully. The Basin have the numbers, and they'll win out in the end. Just. Nice little chip to halfback, Mark, taken by Christie. Slipped as he kicked, but got it away to Kruger. He's found plenty of the ball. So needs to go direct, and he does. Steps around, gets to the middle of the ground, kicks to centre half forward. No one could mark. Taps got a mop up at the Ooh. back, and he got a high tackle. Yep. Pretty straightforward decision there. It's been good. Taps got now on that yep. left foot, switches to Hards. He's been awesome today. He's been great. Bryce Hards. Kicks into the middle of the ground, takes a risk. Ma waited for it. Didn't regret it now. Oxley brought him down. Right on by Oxley. Football. One of the things I've been really impressed with up at Ferntree Gully today is their tackling pressure on the ball carrier. They haven't given the Basin any room to move whatsoever. The bounce. Tap down one by the Basin, but it's all up a gully at the back as they switch it now to Tool. Get a bit of a run on here. He plays on, goes up the line. It's a nice kick too. Those little Robert Harvey kicks, just letting his man run onto it. And that was Calvin. He drills it into side Great 50. Kick. And it's a great mark taken by Petrarca. He's been one of their best players today, Calvert. Yep, he's played well. They've had a few few mates today up at Gully. They've had a lot of good players that have probably played two and a half, three quarters. Yeah. I criticised them a few weeks ago in the South Belgrave game, saying that they didn't have enough contributors. But, well, it's been the complete opposite today. They've uh, they've had quite a few contenders to get votes today, and uh, it's been a real team effort. It's almost like they've been on a mission today. Petrarca comes in now, he works it back with the wind oh, beautifully. Oh. It comes around. What a goal. That's a terrific kick. What a goal. He's yep. got four. And up a gully. Look at good things at the moment. 12 9, 81 to 5, 7 37. 11 and a half minutes gone. Final turn. Game over. It's yep. one of those players, as I said, this game needed a, a game breaker. Yep. And he is he's elite. He's great when he's. Uh, He's got that shot on goal. He can use the wind to perfection. He's uh, he's always a live wire, always dangerous, and um, yep, definitely one of their better players today as well. Grant Campbell, thanks to Choose Tap Match Stats. Well, the upper bench gully have turned the tables in uncontested possessions this quarter, leading at 23 to 12, and they're also winning the half ball 20 to 15. Godfrey got a little boot to it, but it was picked up by Lee, who banged it on his boot. The ball went as far as high as it did long, and it comes out now towards the keen direction. Had to break a tackle. Handball was half smothered. Upper Ferntree Gully have the numbers there. Silver got a little handball out wide towards the Whiteman direction. He got brought down into tackle. Kruger screaming for the ball from Macon, but he goes backwards to go forwards. Kruger comes in now to receive it. Looping handball over the top. Can the Bears create something of this? The kick goes inside forward 50. Gully used his body well. Charging at a Cardamone, almost played for the free kick there, did Michael. And the umpire said, I had a good position of that and I will bounce it. I think the umpiring has been fantastic today. Um, see, they start the play again. Batty, a little bit of a holding off the ball then, yep. I think. And yep. then, uh, I think that might go the way of Tapscott. Both umpires called that, so they're right on song. In the defensive arc had a good game. Trusty left footer. Thumps it out towards the wing position. Slips catch nearly taken there by Dirksen. Came in to a little handball over the top. It was knocked away there by Brown. No one came in uh, that could pick the football up and Tool sees it over the boundary line and out for a boundary throw in. Keep the scores coming through at footy EFL. Wilbur is waiting. We want to keep you up to date as you hashtag love it local around the eastern suburbs this afternoon. Godfrey got to the front spot, went up against Batty Kruger at the fall of the ball, just paddling it to his advantage. In from the side there, Tim Risley. It's a hot footy and eventually seen over by Jordan Whiteman for a boundary throw in. At least I'll give the base I'll give Max Kruger his, his credit today. He's, yeah, he's, been he's been the only player that's yeah. played four quarters of football so far for the base and he's tried his heart out. Soupy. Twenty seven disposals for the game. Batty over the top, scooped upon there by Whiteman, another player we've been watching one way than the other. He's been a lot more quiet though. Got the hand all the way to Houston on the right boot, kicks it into the middle of the ground. Well, he was looking for Hards, who didn't look at the football, used his body well, and then almost won it as also as the ball hits the deck. A big tackle over the top there by Thompson. We'll see it bounced right in the centre of Kings Park. And it is uh, 
Surrey Park and Kilsyth today, and Kilsyth are only winning by three points to make it ten in a row this week. Surrey Park looking for their second victory right. of the year. You wouldn't read about some of these results we're seeing coming on through as the handball from Cripps goes out wide to Kruger. This way, that way. I'll use the opposite. I've got class in, in towards the middle. McKay got the handball out wide. That's okay. Smith on the right boot. Short passes on, and that's very good football there from the Basin Football Club as Keane got down low and he'll have a shot on goal. He's kicked one already in this match. That was early in the Rock piece. Out, it might be running. just within his range. He'll kick from 45 metres. Margin currently is 44 points. What will it be after this kick? It's sitting up. It's going a long, long way, but touched on the line and through for a minor score. That's eight on the board for the Basin Football Club. 5 8 38. Upper Fentry Gully, 12 9 81. 15 minutes gone. We failed to mention they haven't kicked the goal since the middle of the second quarter, so it's been the pretty much been goals for a half. Uh, yeah, half a footy. Laughlin in the back pocket brings in the hards. He goes short. Couldn't take the mark. There was Murray. Just paddles it. Wants the boundary line, kept it in in the end. And the basin will pick it up. Malik goes back. Finds Thompson, been good across half back for the basin. Wrapped up was Oxley. And we will have a boundary throw in right at the interchange gates. This will be such an important victory for Upper Gully. They'll now have that belief that they can, they've got a top four scalp and that they can keep going with the rest of the season still to go. Godfrey did well, just cleared it out of the ruck. Brown attacks it, or Dirksen attacks him. Went back and got the footy though, Dirksen. Little hand pass was nice to Risley. That was a great handball. Lachlan just couldn't control it, but got it back at ground level. A little bit too easy for him at the oh, moment. Great vision, it, wasn't it? Yeah. Risley sent it to the middle. Here's Godfrey, just couldn't control it. Cameron Cripps had his head over the footy, but Houston worried him out of it well. Picks it back up. He's been terrific today, Houston, into the middle to Lachlan, who's come alive in this second term. Hand pass off to Begley, who goes long to the top of the square. Petrarca one out. Coming across there was Oxley with the spoil. Lived in the race, just got rid of Murray, <laughs> did well. And he's jumped on the ball, and Petrarca jumps way. on him. And we will have a bounce in the left forward pocket for the Kings. You could be right, Aaron. There a lot of questions to be asked about the Basin today on, t on today's performance. You might you were right at the start of the game. Thanks, Brash. Uh, certainly a lot, a lot of water to go under the bridge. As here's Begley, 17-year-old, on debut to finish it off. Can't get the distance mark taken by Thompson. A little hand pass. Here to Lachlan Cripps now. He's been OK. Kick over the top, Cardamone just takes his man on. It's done okay today. It's exciting, Cardamone, when he gets it. Just probably hasn't enough of it for him today. Price along the line with a nice, neat kick. Smith couldn't take the mark. And just worried out of it by yeah, Nelson. It was. Then. Yeah. Lovely work. Hand pass over the top to Sap Scott on his left side. Hand pass it just missing the footy. Whiteman came through hard. Liked him as well. Tap Scott to Silva. Silva kicks it forward. Batty stands there. Could control at the base and just oh, well none of them done. seem to really want it. Great work there from Ma. Hand pass off to Risley. He has not stopped running all day. And that is a terrific oh, kick. Oh, what a kick. From Risley. Well done, Tom Ma. That was excellent play there to create something out of nothing to give Risley the run onto the ball. And he delivered accordingly to Petrarca leading into the fat side of the forward line. Yeah, the ba Basin's heads have dropped and uh, they're playing really committed football now, the Kings. And, uh, you know, they look every bit of... Well, th they deserve their top sp four spot at the moment, but they're looking fantastic. Petrarca coming in now for number five. About 30 metres, stabs at it, and it is to the near side. Another behind him. I reckon at South Belgrave a couple of weeks ago, those numbers were coming off. He might need to ditch the iron and sew them. <laughs> As we go for, around the ground, thanks to the local bird co. Eastern Lions 5, 7, 37. Warrandyte 12, 7, 79. Yeah, well. Donny East by 34 over Mulgrave, 17 gone. Cardamone dropped what he should have taken in the middle of the ground, but Batty was there to mop up the pieces. The kick goes up towards the half forward line where it will be Cardamone to come in and take the mark. Good running. <laughs> Short passes on. And it's a good kick too, and the Crips takes the mark. So he's about 55 metres out from goal. He goes back as if he's almost confident here. See, you got to take your chances. I agree, Giggles, as he comes in now. 
55 metres out, he gives it a fair old roost too and he pushed it to the right hand side, he got the distance, don't you worry about that, but a minus score is the result, Bendigo Bank scoreboard, almost time on here at EFL game day and the Bears, they cannot kick a goal, mid second term was the last time the and umpire they, stuck the two jukes well, up. And they led by 16 points well, at it. that stage too. Yeah, they've kicked seven behinds to 10 goals, six. Massive. Uh, in the back pocket, Upper Fentry Gully. In the series of handballs, they eventually reach it out towards the half back line and through the middle they'll go now. The kick just holds up in the breeze oh, using strength. his body while there was Dirks and he'll look for a runner there in Hards who went one way, a little look away handball there that didn't eventuate. Backwards to go forwards and now the Kings get up towards the half forward line. Brown will come in from the side. It was a big fly and an absolute ripper of a mark. The up eye said he's not paying that one. I tell you what, that's as good a grab as you will see and no reward either for Jaden Brown I tell you what he's extremely stiff there might have cost himself a $25 voucher too with a with a grab like that but it wasn't paid as Macon tried to break the tackle eventually did that was some sort of a handball backwards to Lee who quickly got wrapped up in a tackle yeah. the umpire said yeah holding the ball you've got to actually try and do something with the Godfrey the big man he wants to switch the plane towards the middle where Higgledon was it didn't quite reach him Houston's in there as well Godfrey hands and knees little handball over the top it goes out to that dangerous area the, the, the Bears might have the numbers here but the Kings hit the deck and the tackle is formed. Up she will go, 40 metres out from goal. When the ball's in dispute, the second and third efforts by the Kings, and this particular this quarter, has been elite. It's been fantastic work. They're hungry for the football. They Mills are. knocked it away. It comes out towards the tool direction, almost copped one high. That was okay. The umpire said, back to Houston, who could have been pinged for holding the football. The umpire said, you will be. And the free kick will go to Lee. At least they have been consistent today, the umpires, on that decision. Lee into the middle of the ground. It was a handy looking kick. Even sit up for Underhill, which it, which it did. He, a little bit of a <laughs> fresh air away. shot. Uh, fend away. And here's uh, McKay on the right boot. Drives it inside forward 50. You've got to go direct. He wanted Coltrera out wide. And happy to see it over Ryan Silver. And the ball will be thrown in 50 metres out from goal. Talk about going via the cape. Jeez. Kicking today has been poor ordinary at base, best, so, mm, especially yep. going forward. It really look like they've lacked the centre half forward as well today. There's not somebody demanding the footy. That's because Liam, Liam Galley has taken their centre half forward apart today. Silver out of the pack, it's gonna fall. I go back inside 50 now, the base and into that pocket, and they're playing kick to kick as Silver takes a mark. Four minutes to go. It's a five point lead to Kilsyth over Surrey Park around the grounds thanks to the local burger company. Silver goes in short and finds Lothman who just seems to want to crawl his way back. Let me get up off the ground there. They know they've good. done enough now. Good in that last quarter. Begley, he's been terrific on debut. Cameron Cripps just suffers it out of bounds and he'll have a boundary throw in left half forward for the Basin. The Sting's really gone out of this game you know, when you look at it this way, you know, it's been a, I've been really disappointed with the Basin today. No doubt about it, they just have not come to play today. Oh, Waverley Blues are coming, only trailing by 10 points to the Murrawbark Football Club, trying to keep their season alive, the Waverley Blues, with Doncaster East looking like they'll take home the points. They need to stay within touch. The ball across the half-back line now. It's quickly kicked across there by Cripps. That was OK, picked up Where by two? McKay. Handball, they're going backwards here. There's just no options up forward, and eventually towards Kruger, who goes inside forward 50, and a man who really has stood up well today for the Basin Football Club. He's Batty tried takes a takes a solid mark, and he'll go back and have a shot from just inside the 50 metre mark. Sums up their game style today, they've just been mucking around with it and the, the player who's actually been, you know, shown a bit of a quality today was Kruger. Heads inside 50 and uh, finds a teammate there in Batty. Yeah, Kruger and Batty, certainly uh, a couple of the Bears better players mm. this afternoon. The big man comes in now and he gets a fair old bit of purchase on the football and I tell you what, with the way the wind's been going today, it would, should have usually gone through that kick, but through for one behind, Bendigo Bank scoreboard, 22 and a half minutes, 5-10 to 12-10 around the grounds. Will Taylor, thanks to the local burger company. Yeah, scores be a leading base, what about eight goals, uh, halfway through the last, and Ryan Kennedy kit one for Surrey Park, it's Surrey Park now leading by a point. Oh, holy <laughs> dooly! Wow. 
No, oh, no. That's, uh, surely the upset of the season is on the cards with that result coming through. Once again, centre half back tool. Great little handball to Risley. He comes streaming through the centre of the ground. Hand pass back. Here's Murray. He goes long to centre half forward. Standing under it was Godfrey. Good mark. Oh, roped it at ground level. The big man terrifically well. Off to Hards, who just chips it over the top. Matraka. That'll just about be 25, that one. Great oh, hands. Says no, but that's another great kick. Hards, just about the best on ground today for mine. He's been terrific. Petrarca plays on quickly and <laughs> he's missed me. It's just the old Stevie J. Yeah, it's exactly what he's done. I don't know why he decided why to play on then. What's wrong with the uh, the whole drop punt? I don't know. Gosh, Especially when percentage can be important. Absolutely. The kick goes towards the culvert direction. Got a handle on it. Kruger trapped it at the fall. Picked up there by Godfrey, who just thumped it on his boot. Kicks it to the top of the square where Brown, who's read the football well today yeah, for the base. Try hard. Yeah. Takes a mark. Certainly be up there with uh, Kruger for their best players as he hits him on the chest there. As the siren sounds, it was a short quarter in that fourth term, and it is a solid, comprehensive, fantastic victory by the Upper Ferntree Gully Football Club this afternoon out here at Kings Park on AFL.